Okay. Now, what we're looking at is the dispute resolution windows that are located right in the front of the can cash can. Sure, I can. What do you want, 100? If you don't mind. <laughs> well, we can do that. Okay, let's put a bill in. Hey, mister, I put a $100 bill in that machine. Only gave me credit for $1. There we go. Now, we can actually go ahead and get our security team, get over here, get the door open, take a look in there. Now, you're a liar. Yeah, it's really, it's not right, not right now. Yeah, well, sure isn't. <laughs> Well, you guys, I would pass it around and let you take a look at it, but I'm going to have to take the bill out of it. <laughs> it's funny because it's not really, it's, you know, you could, I can see that it's a $100 bill, but it's really, there it goes, there. Yeah, it's really tough to see on the, on the image. It's hard. There it is. Oh, yes, you did put a $100 bill in Yes, I did. I told you I would. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, one of the nice things about having this dispute resolution window, it's also a two-fold thing because now we have also gone from a rear stacking cash box to a front stacking cash box. Makes things really nice. It also helps with the speed because now we don't have to transport the bill nearly as far as we had to do to get to the rear stacker. <coughs> so, that helps with the speed. It also helps with uh, dispute resolution windows. Now, we good? Okay, we also, on the unit itself, we have put on some uh, diagnostic LEDs. Now, this is a really, really nice feature simply for the fact that if you go, you've got a problem with your bill validator, you open up the door, it doesn't tell you anything. Well, with the cash flow system, you have three LEDs. You have a green LED, a yellow LED, and a red LED. Now, we also handed out some, some of the little cheater cards, I like to call them, that tell you what your problems are depending on what the status of the LED lights are. So, makes it very simple to diagnose the problem on the floor depending on what your LEDs are doing. And we've also implemented cross-channel sensors, which helps us to be able to read better. So it gives us more security also with that. What do you mean by cross-channel Cross-channel sensors on the cash can helps to read it to see that it's been inserted and stacked. Now, the ease of operation, this is very user-friendly. You don't have to calibrate these. They're self-calibrating. We, we calibrate them when they come in to be reworked. Whenever there's a problem, we'll do the work, we'll calibrate them. But when they're on your floor, when you pull it out and you put it back in, you don't have to calibrate it like you would the ZT, where you've got your white calibration paper, you've got to put it in a calibration mode, stick it in, bring it out. You don't have to do that with the cash flow. It's self-calibrating. How does it self-calibrate? Pardon me? How does it, I, that answer I can't tell you. I, I haven't talked to the engineers about that one, so I can't tell you. All I know is they tell me that it's self-calibrating. That's a bad, bad one on me. I'm gonna, fi, I'm gonna find, as a matter of fact, at the end of this, I want you to get with me, give you your name, uh, email address, anything. I will get that information and I will send that out to you, definitely, because. Basically, it, it measures the task of the level bearing assembly and then bifurcates the algorithm. There you go. <laughs>